Hello everyone, welcome back to Weg's Garage. We've got a quick tip for you today on installing a backup hood release. Stay tuned. This is the uh, hood release mechanism here and there's a cable that runs inside the passenger compartment and if this cable is ever to fail uh, it's pretty much impossible to open the hood without like a pry bar or something like that but there is a pretty good solution available out there uh, the one we have here is uh, I think we got this at Moss Motors uh, this is a hood release kit. So I'll show you uh, how we installed that here today on our 64 TR4. Alright, so here's what's in the kit. Uh, basically consists mainly of this lever and this little rod. And uh, the lever pushes against the hood release latch and the rod goes into the passenger compartment and you can just pull that to get the hood open. Uh, then you also get all the kind of assorted hardware that you need to install that as well as a little grommet for where the rod goes through the firewall. So first step is to drill a hole for this mounting for this pivot point and then drill a hole for this uh, grommet. brackets on the holes drilled uh, we did get a little ahead of ourselves so don't put the bracket on until you get the uh, bracket attached to the little rod otherwise you you can't get it on so we'll take that back off feed it through put the grommet in and that's it Alright, so that's it. The latch is on, uh, rod goes down through, there's the grommet, and uh, the, there's a little tab that's just under inside the passenger compartments. So pull that, activates your hood release, and you can get your hood open. And uh, also, realize I probably should have been calling it the bonnet this whole time. I'll get that right one of these days. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Mark here, reporting from my secret laboratory. Just wanted to pop in and tell you just how important this hood release kit is. See, one thing we don't mention in our hood install video, which is pretty good, uh, you should check it out. Uh, link will be right here, 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 over there, up. There's a link somewhere. So we actually did have an old hood release cable. And uh, even though this thing did seem to function properly, it seemed like it was in pretty good condition, but literally the first time we closed the hood, right about here. It failed and would not pop the bonnet. 
So we've actually been using this Moss Motors kit as our primary hood release mechanism uh, while we wait for a new cable to come in. So I don't know if I stressed this enough earlier in the video, but considering the alternative is like prying your precious hood open with a screwdriver, this thing is really cheap insurance at just about 20 bucks. We are in no way sponsored by Moss Motors, although we are available if, if anybody wants to contact us. But this thing is super easy to install and will pay for itself in like no time if you ever have a hood latch failure. So anyway, stop waiting, go install one, White's Garage, out.